If you need help building your team or selling your coins, make sure you head on over to CheapMaticCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And use code WOLF for 15% off. Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the news that EA just dropped about Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys this stuff from a website, right? But check this out, bro. If some ads, some crazy ads pop up with like girls and stuff, bro, doing something that shouldn't be on YouTube, man. I apologize. All right. I have no control of the ads that pop up. All right. So I'm just putting a disclaimer out there. Be ready with with your, with your horse blinds or, or your hands and put them over your face if you know if you're too young to see uh, one of those crazy ads pop up. You guys know what I'm talking about. We're on them illegal movie sites and stuff like that, trying to watch Avengers Endgame. You know what I'm saying? And, and those ads pop up. <laughs> anyway, so EA dropped some information regarding Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Now you guys know I don't really play Ultimate Team because let me tell you guys why I don't play Ultimate Team, man. You either grind the hell out of it, man. Or you spend money. Now, me, I ain't trying to blow money like that. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do it. Especially the shelf life of Madden. It's not that not that long. You know what I mean? Like, it's one to two months and gameplay is already atrocious. You know what I'm saying? But I want to play Ultimate Team. And I think in Madden 20, they're going to change it up just enough. Maybe just enough. Because from what I'm seeing on Twitter, it's not going to be like any Ultimate Team ever. Like, this is going to be a new Ultimate Team. And I'm actually excited for it. I know the gameplay is going to let us down because I know the old code in Madden. I mean, we're talking about previous Maddens in Madden 20. That's pretty much there's no way around it until they tear down the game and take like two to three years to re remake another Madden game. If the gameplay is not going to be up to par, bros. All right. Trust me on that. I already know that. that's a guarantee. Now I'm leaning back in the chair, bro. Almost falling off the chair. So let's talk about today's article. This is from DGR.com. Madden 20 Ultimate Team brings new Ultimate Team challenges, missions, and more. Now, I haven't read this article. We're going to do this all together at the same time. We're going in together, all right? It's like we see the cave. We're all standing outside of it, and we're like, man, I'll go if you guys go. And that's how we're going to do this article. We're going in this together. Now, if I sound different, I'm using a different mic, bro. Okay, I'm trying to do something different with the sound quality. Tired of wearing those Asteroid 40 headphones, bro. I'm telling you guys right now. All right, so on May 16th, the EA Madden NFL Twitch channel brought another community live stream for Madden 20. If you guys want to watch that stream, you could go to EA Madden uh, NFL on Twitch and watch their past broadcast. They're talking about everything we're going to talk about right now. But if you want just a quick rundown, we're going to just do that in this video. Now, people have been wondering, are superstar abilities going to carry over in all game modes? And it is. It's actually, from what I understand, it's replacing Kim's chemistry abilities. So EA's Madden, uh, EA Madden's associate producer Jake Stein was on deck for the Madden 20 team deep dive discussion on Thursday night to help gamers understand the new Ultimate Team. He mentioned that X factors and superstar X abilities will play a part in Mutt. However, gamers won't be able to load up their offense and defense with these players. Instead, he said you'll choose three players for offense and three for defense. These specific players will be the active superstar or X factors in your lineup before the game. So you'll get to pick what three players. From what I understand, and then you get to select an ability. So if we look like at the play art right here, I'm mean, not the play, why I keep saying you see how much I lab, bro. I'm, I'm talking about play art in practice mode. If we look at the picture right here, you'll see right here on the left side it says superstar abilities, and then you select an ability right here. So Aaron Rodgers roaming dead eye, perfect pass accuracy when outside the pocket. So you'll get to load these abilities, and then you go into the game with that. So three players all with their own abilities i want to say was it three offense and three defense is that is that what it said be able to load up their offense and defense with these players okay so instead he said you'll choose three players for offense and three for defense so it's three players with abilities on offense three players on defense with abilities i think that's pretty cool that that's that gives it a nice little twist Stein also brought up how players will each have specific archetypes he gave the example of the patriots tom brady as a field general each archetype has specific abilities or attributes they possess. So Brady won't have something like escape artist because he's not fast. You guys know he's slow, but he may have perfect passing in the red zone or perfect deep passes. I wouldn't even give him perfect deep passes because Tom Brady doesn't really throw a lot of bombs no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Scrambler won't work on Tom Brady either. So it would probably be like passing in the red zone, maybe check down artists. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love Tom Brady. He's the GOAT, but let's let's keep it real. All right, let's, let's give him the check down artist ability i think that's great 
I love to throw drags at a very high rate instead of, you know, throwing the ball out of bounds and hitting the mascot in the head like I do in Madden 19. You know what I'm saying? Ultimate team missions challenges. Now, I'm sorry for all these ads popping up, bro. Okay, I'm just reading this to you guys. Follow along. On my PC, the ads and stuff like that don't load up. I'm using my Xbox, man. So the mission screen on Madden Ultimate Team will be a hub for gamers. The concept is to present everything in an easy to find place to help gamers achieve their goals in the game. So it'll be like a roadmap towards earning those rewards with the steps presented in an easy to find manner. So no more solo challenges from what I understand. Is it missions now? I think that's pretty cool. With the ultimate challenge and interesting point that Stein made is that solo challenges are dead. Yeah, so there's no more solo challenges in but it's going to be missions now, which is pretty cool. They're, they're adding their own spin to it. They're, you know, they're doing something different. That's what you want. You want something different. He said the goal with Madden 20 Ultimate Team was to make it so gamers could go to challenges and compete with a friend. Ooh, that's big. So if a gamer was at the challenges and he sees a friend with Madden is also online, they can take on the challenge with their friend. The concept here is to make it less lonely to participate in the challenges. So that's why it's not solo challenges no more, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's friend challenges, bro. It's mission. You'll be able to do pretty much challenges like solo challenges, but with a friend. I think that's going to be awesome. The problem I have is who's going to be my friend to play, bro? Which one of you guys going to want to roll with me, man? I'm going to need a squad to roll up. You know what I mean? All right, so here we got what it looks like the ultimate challenges. You see this bar right here to the left? Play as any role. Coach, passer, lineman. Coach, passer, linebacker. Okay. Throw for 10 yards. I can read this. I don't think you guys can see it. Be kind of pixelated, but throw for 10 yards this drive. So I think that's pretty cool. This looks like the squads uh, menu from squads in Madden 19. That's what it actually looks like. So I'm sure it's going to use the same kind of kind of theme as far as inviting people or whatever. And I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if you do it with like three people like squads. Imagine doing challenges. You know, I probably would live stream that a lot. The only reason I don't like to live stream a lot of Madden is because it's very toxic, bro. People are there to see you lose, and when you lose, they want to just roast you. And that brings people's self-esteem down, bro. So, you know, if I do live streams in Madden, probably going to do, like, challenges and stuff like that, man, because I'm going to want to punch somebody in the mouth, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I can't. You know what I mean? Another exciting change is a star-based reward system. On Ultimate Challenges, before gamers start a challenge, they get to choose if they want to try for a 1, 2, or 3 star level. Difficulty increases at each star level. The rewards a gamer earns for these hot these are higher with the difficulty level two. The screen below gives an example of a challenge called Master the Sticks with specific milestones and a tier system giving different rewards. Probably something like you gotta get you either gotta defend the first down line, like don't allow them to get a first down, or you gotta keep getting first downs. I don't know, it's gonna be be, be pretty in interesting. So master the sticks actually says it right here. Um, earn rewards as you gain stars and master the sticks. Sequences go long, hot feet, making magic. So these are just different things that they're throwing in there, bro, uh, to make it different for Ultimate Team. And I'm going to try it out for like the first month or two. I'm going to go into Ultimate Team. But once I hit that paywall to where you're either going to bleed through your eyes or fork out the cash, probably going to dip unless I can get some people like you guys some people that I can trust that, that we can build a team together and someone else grinds it if you guys want to grind it and we can just showcase the team on the channel if you want to do that we can do it no money spent or money spent however you guys want to do it let me know follow me on Twitter if you if you're really serious about wanting to do that and participate and trying to help me build a team but I mean let's be honest if you're gonna to want to help me you have to be a grinder like it it's there's no way around it you know what I mean and we're going to showcase a squad of no money spent team. We're going to try to make it as powerful as possible to go against people that are spending money because we're going to, you know, we got to lose to win. That's just the way it works with no money spent. You have to lose to win. The only way around it. These challenges will also include bonus goals. So it's kind of like soul challenge where you get bonus goals. Remember the bonus coins? If you do something extra or score on one play, earn uh, 10,000 coins or whatever. Where applicable gamers will have an option to try to complete special bonus goals to earn additional stars. So a one star challenge will bring three stars by completing bonus goals. Gamers will also get the opportunity to retry bonus goals no matter the number of attempts they've made at the challenge. Now that's cool because I think before they would take it away, I'm not, I can't remember. Ultimate team loading screen tweak house rules. One of the most welcome improvements will come in the terms of the loading in and out screen for ultimate team challenges. Gamers will no longer have to back out to the main menu to go to their next challenges. Now, as soon as one challenge is completed, 
a screen shown below will give a button option to advance to the next challenge based on reactions for people in the Twitch stream chat room. This is certainly a welcome addition. So whenever you complete a solo challenge and you had to go all the way back to the menu to start the next challenge, you're not going to do that. Now you're going to come back to this screen right here. Play next challenge you see right here. Return to challenges, replay challenge, view post game summary. So right here, the ultimate challenge will be the menu. Once you're finished, you come back to that menu and, and the ads are just they're coming in, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I apologize, man. All right. But I this is the only article I could find that was detailed enough for me to use for you guys. You know what I mean? So we got to make it work, bro. All right. We're, we're not put together like, you know, I got a guy, you know, I got a guy that I know that does. We call him ghetto cuts, bro. OK, we call him ghetto cuts because he's not really a barber, but he can cut your hair for like five bucks, bro. All right. And, and that's how my 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 explorer is right now. OK, this, this is this is ghetto news. All right. This is the hood news right here. I'm telling you guys right now. This is the hood news. This is Madden hood news. Just get that right. In other good news, Madden House Rules will be back again for the new title. They'll also have some new, uh, some unique new conditions. As Stein mentioned during the community stream, they can now set start and end conditions for House Rules. So for example, a House Rules game can start an overtime session or they can set it so the first player to score a passing touchdown wins the House Rules. So there will be some fun and unique new situations in the aspects of the game. For those who missed out on the latest community stream, you can head over to Madden Switch channel to watch the episode. There's also a brand new gridiron notes here with the summary of important information. So that's it, man. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Ultimate team looks like it's getting a makeover. I think it's going to be different because from what I understand, there's not going to be no chemistry abilities the way it used to be or red chems. I'm sure there's going to be chemistry abilities, but from what I understand, it's not red chems. Someone put that in the comments below the difference. People that have been playing ultimate team put that in the comments, bro. So other people can understand with me because I'm not. Uh, I'm not a scientist at Ultimate Team. Okay, Gut Fox is. You know what I mean? That guy's brilliant. That guy's awesome. You know what I mean? Pretty much the only guy that I, you know, I talk to in Madden. You know what I mean? You know, whenever he answers the door. You know what I mean? Or he answers the phone. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, make sure you drop a like on the video. Once again, I apologize for all the ads, bro, all, all, all over the screen and the screen messing up, or you know, if it was jittery. But but we're in the hood, bro. You know what I mean? I'm about to go over here and. This guy wants to sell me a PlayStation for like 70 bucks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I don't know if it's a hot PlayStation, bro, but I mean I can't pass this deal up. It's a PlayStation he's trying to sell me. It's a PS4 for 70 bucks, bro. I'm gonna have to take it. So I gotta go, man. I, I gotta go get the money and, and give it to this guy, all right? Peace.